Okay, thank you, Doc. My next guest. Good. My next guest is named uh, Louis Anderson. He's a comedian. He's making his first appearance on national television. And he's going to be opening tomorrow night in Las Vegas, the new comedy store at the Dunes Hotel. And he'll be there through Sunday night. Would you welcome, please, Louis Anderson. Thank you, Thank you, I can't stay long. I'm in between meals, so bear with me. <laughs> Everybody has someone crazy in their family. Sometimes it's you. Yes. Well, oh. Oh. No, I mean, you're any... No, I get it. I get it. <laughs> My favorite thing is when you go over to someone's house and you're fat, they, they overcompensate. Oh, come on in, Luann. Sit down here on this concrete sofa. <laughs> or the reinforced steel lawn furniture. <laughs> do what I do, head right for that wicker. No, my dad was a, is this real ornery character from my act that mm -hmm. I that really came to life during this series, and it really worked. I mean, you know, it was a, lo a lot of fun. In fact, my dad's dead, mm -hmm. and every time we did him, it was like he was there, mm -hmm. which was terrible. I mean, if you knew my dad. Yeah. <laughs> and the book is about your mother. I mean, she's kind of your hero because she she helped to step in between you and your your bad yeah. father, right? Bad father. But yeah, yeah, you know, drunken. You know, so I and forgive him, but drunken. Yeah. And you know, eleven children, and she stood between him and us, and right. she saved us. I mean, she she deflected and and protected, and and then also fed us, which uh, really was, you know, why I'm so fat is because. <laughs> Well, no, it's true, I wasn't going to mention it. Well, <laughs> it's the elephant in the room. Um, it's the... <laughs> no, it's a he, wasn't a, he wasn't a mean guy. Never hit us. Carried a gun. And, uh, <laughs> he never <laughs> shot it. He just go... <laughs> Much more effective. effective. Uh -huh. exactly. You know, you become your parents. Like, I can't throw a bag out. Really? It's really sick. Because my mom would always go, what are you doing? I'm throwing the... Oh. Well, that's a good bag. <laughs> you can't get bags like that anymore. Well, well how'd we get it? We're lucky. <laughs> so nice. You know, I always thought they made the Chucky thing after me. Oh, really? I used to think that. I go, that looks just like me. <laughs> you never got yeah, any cash for it. I got nothing. <laughs> you know, the only time I ever saw my dad emotional was when he find boxes the grocery store was throwing out. <laughs> Oh, my God, they're throwing these boxes away. <laughs> Jesus, Louie, get them. We'll put your mom's bags in them. <laughs> but I once gave my mom, I couldn't get her a birthday gift. You know, I love my mom. And so I wrote her the coupon book. Did you ever do that? Oh. I'll wash the dishes. I'll uh, do the laundry. I'll kill dad for you. <laughs> <laughs> It was a true story. Did uh, you really? You I really know. gave her a coupon that said, I'll, I'll kill, kill dad, dad for you? For you. That was a funny young kid. Louie, come out here and take another bow. <laughs> <laughs>